podcast for marketers exclusive. So we're going to keep this intro short. I'm going to revamp my podcast. Funnelhackerpro.com. Come to the group. Stealthy Millionaire on Instagram. Podcast for marketers here on YouTube. Billionaire Vids on Snapchat. Billionaire Vid without the S on Twitter. Podcast for marketers.com. There's a free MP3 player. Just pay for your fucking shipping. Smash that thumbs up, man. And sub fucking scribe to my channel if you like the content. Boom. Done. Today, man, we're going to talk about what everybody else is talking about right now and it's growth hacking. And I noticed that, like, you know, everybody's kind of doing, like, a, it's a big secret. So this is for your social media marketing agency. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, you know, they're already, they're already chomping at the bits. Hey, is this one for social media marketing agencies? <laughs> You, and you guys want to know why I laugh at that so much, man, is because like so, the social media marketing agent is weird how Ty Lopez took something so normal and so like, like, like just it is what it is to make it sound like it's special. I mean, I put that keyword on all of my videos, right? But it's nothing more than just marketing, folks. That's all it is, right? <laughs> It's using the Facebook ad network. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And selling shit or fucking whatever else, right? But Facebook is the main one. Let me get to what I'm talking about. And that's growth hacks, man. I've been noticing that a lot of people are kind of like growth hacking, growth hacking, growth hacking. And I know one dude that his whole career right now is centered around um, growth hacking. And his name is Justin Wu. And he's actually the bomb. I like the dude, man. He's really cool. But when I looked at his business model, it was nothing more. And the other guy, there's another dude. I think his name is, uh, um, I can't think of his name right now. But anyways, I, I look at his his business model. And most of them are like, we're growth hackers. So the one thing I wanted to tell you about what growth hacking is. Now, most, you know, most of these guys are for apps, you know, or uh, SASS, uh, SAS, uh, shit, SAS softwares as a service or your social media marketing agency or whatever. Um, just any kind of, yeah, consultants. Okay. Um, and it's, you know, you got a new business and you want to, you know, you want fast growth. I want money right now. Right. So when you think about that, right. Um, and I told this the other day to, well, yesterday, to Jorge. Uh, there's another Jorge in the group. Was like, I felt like you were talking to me. Well, I was. Jorge. <laughs> Both of you. So, or all three of you. <laughs> there's like four of you. Four. All right. So, all it means is cold. Everything that I've learned so far about growth hacking means this right here. Okay. It just means cold. And then insert your shit here. Emails. Okay. Calls. Gary V just came out with a, uh, and I drew, I was really kind of angry when I read it, but he just came out with an article. If you go look at his blog about direct messaging on Instagram, you know, Hey guys. Um, and he's like, I know everybody's going to go spamming everybody. I'm like, well, why in the fuck would you tell people to do it? Cause they're already doing that shit. Unwanted fucking direct messages on. And it's the stupidest shit, man. Nobody knows how to have a conversation on Instagram at all. Everybody's all trying to, this is great. This is magnificent. Love these photos. It's like, dude, I didn't post a fucking photo. That is some of the dumbest shit ever, man. I don't even understand how how it works and i don't know if these dudes are actually getting traffic i mean anyways that's a whole nother fucking thing anyway so <laughs> i went in a tangent didn't i yeah you can you talk irritated in with that i have richard on um instagram right now doing my instagram and he's actually doing some good work on there now right kind of figuring out what people like and what they don't like and he's figured it out um but the one frustrating thing about uh, Instagram, man, and I'll be honest with you, man, it seems like nobody's real on Instagram. I have yet to have a conversation with anybody that's actually real. You know what I mean? Like 
everybody's a fucking business on Instagram. There's nobody on Instagram just putting photos of their kids up. I haven't seen that in a long time. Even people with kids up or posting a photo with their kids up, they got a fucking affiliate link in their shit. So everybody's selling something on fucking Instagram, man. It's a trip. It's like a used car lot for fucking marketers. Anyways. Yeah. I'm, hard. I'm done fucking ranting. Ranting over. Here, let me officially put it over here. <laughs> right? <laughs> done. All right. So now everything is cold emails, cold calls, direct messaging, you know, Twitter, it's cold everything, man, right? It, 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 whatever it is, you know, here it is just, you know, um, you know, walk-ins, okay? It's cold everything. That's all fucking growth hacking is. So, um, and even like um, scraping LinkedIn and doing something cold with the fucking emails or phone numbers or something right so that's all growth hacking really is now the next part of the equation it's cold whatever this shit is here plus a bunch of it fast every day okay so here's what I think most people have a problem with right here, right? First of all, it's cold emails, cold calls, cold um, direct messages. Um, now, and also on social media, man, I'm seeing a um, a shift, okay? I'm seeing a shift from I've got a million followers to I've got, you know, 5,000 quality, super engaged people. Right. Um, I can tell you just from my own self, from my own business that, you know, I have, you know, right around thirteen hundred super engaged um, in my squad. My squad members are super engaged. They're in the, you know, um, our shit, what we do, our content, they're into um, their businesses and I'm super engaged with them. I have a conversation with everybody in my squad. I know them by first name. I talk to everybody. I reach out and I'm super engaged. So, you know, I would much rather honestly have, you know, 2000 people that I know all of their names. Like I just told you I had four Jorge's in my fucking group, right? There might be more, but I know there's like four that I actually, that actually like comment and, you know, um, talk every day. I know I have John. I've got Jamie. I've got fucking Daryl. I've got Blake. I've got a couple of Blakes, a Tovez and a Tavez, right? I can tell you people's names that are, that deal with me every day. I've got Andrew, right? Um, fucking, uh, Jeremy, there's tons of people. I can tell you people that just joined. Um, I can't think of her name because it's like a, a native, uh, a native of New Zealand, but she just joined and she hunts and she fucking fishes and it was awesome. And I talk to her, right? So I can tell you that I talk to people every day. I can tell you that Huey just joined and that um, he promotes uh, ebook and uh, on Amazon or some shit like that, right? So I can tell you that I talk to everybody and I like having that closeness with my, with my squad. Um, like I said, I know everybody, just about. If you comment in my shit and we talk, then I fucking know you. It's that simple, all right? And so now that I'm telling you, so now that I've said that, um, that means that you need to be direct. Don't just tweet out, uh, Hey, everybody come fuck with my consult, my, you know, my, you know, be, I want to be a consultant for you or fuck with my app or fuck with my software as a service. Right. It's more, it's, it's, it's more like running a search. John gave me a fucking tool, man. I can't think of the name of the tool, but it's more like running a search. Let's just say you had a software as a service for, um, my wife uses one for automating um, PDFs, right? Like how to, she actually, um, if there's a PDF and she wants to, to convert it into a, um, some other kind of fucking uh, form or something, it does it automatically, right? So it would be better, honestly, to see someone of, you know, somebody substantial or not just somebody with like one follower, but maybe somebody with 100,000 followers 
tweets out like, fuck, I wish I could um, convert my documents. Boom. You have that on your automatic tweeter thing deal, whatever you have, and it catches that tweet and you go back at that person and say, hey, man, you might want to try my software as a service. Here's a coupon code, man. Go check it out. Um, I'm the owner and developer. Uh, I'm the developer of the of the software, man. I'd love for you to try it out, man. I'm, I'm glad I could probably, you know, probably fix that problem you have or whatever, right? And there's actually literally, what, millions and millions of people on Twitter that have different problems at different times, right? So what I'm saying for you is to get chummy chum chum with people and worked direct with one or two or three or four or five people. And if you have to hire a virtual assistant for that, that's fine. I'm not saying for you to do that. But when you start emailing people, when you start calling people, you know, um, now I will say that having a um, dialer do things for you is cool and have the dialer go straight to voicemail at night because normally the owner of the company will check that and not just, you know, the fucking gatekeepers or whatever, right? So, but when you start making phone calls, call yourself, Right. And when you direct message people on Instagram, don't just fucking blast every fucking body. And Gary V said that in his article, actually call the person out and just say, hey, Sonny, what I, that's what I look for with engagement. If somebody says my name, then I know they actually paid attention and they know who the fuck I am. Everybody else is just like, hey, thanks for the ad. You know, it's like, fuck. Dude, how hard is it? You're not getting that many people adding you. You know, I, I look at your shit. You got a hundred people on your fucking followers thing. You, you do the fucking thing. You're saying, "Hey, Sonny, I saw that you added me. I looked at your shit. I really like. I like what you have going on, man. Maybe we could collab or something." I would pay more attention to that than some fucking um, constructed copy and paste shit that you don't put. It's whack. Walking in is really. Cool. When you can walk in somewhere, okay, and actually talk to the owner and like, say, for instance, you were going for restaurants and you are a um, maybe you're a consultant for restaurants um, of some type of some capacity. I don't know what it would be, but having lunch there and finding out who it is and actually paying attention to who it is and saying, man, I really like this place. And then sitting down with the owner and having that conversation of being able to talk to that person knowledgeably about their situation and about their restaurant, about their menu, um, about their kitchen, whatever you're a consultant for, whatever you're selling, whatever. If you do that directly, that's what cold, cold growth hacking is just cold whatever, right? So when you do scrape LinkedIn, have your VA scrape LinkedIn and scrape, scrape the net, um, try to do a little bit of homework and go see what those people are about before you just send them a fucking cold email. Now I'll tell you, if you, I get cold emails all the time from people, um, you know, looking at, um, tr seeing what I got. I just bought a domain from GoDaddy, which is really stupid because I buy domains all the fucking time. But if somebody actually waited two weeks, right. And saw that I probably had some fucking shitty domain up and did a follow up, right? So let me show you what the workflow with that would be like. Okay, so here's what I'll tell you what would go a lot further with these dudes that are doing cold emails. Okay, so people register with GoDaddy and they get their, they go through their records and they get their email addresses and they just automatically send out an email with a couple of follow ups, right? But here's what I would do personally. I would have 100 domains that I see that got registered, you know, let's say in one week. And you're going to do a better much a, a better job of it, right? And then I would personally go through or have my virtual assistant, it doesn't matter, go through those 100 domains and then stop and see who actually put a website up. Then when you see a website put up, if it's done professionally, don't contact them, right? But if it hasn't been done professionally or it's just a half-assed job or if it's a skeleton, you know how some people just throw up a fucking WordPress and don't do anything with it? Or you can look and see if you're a professional, you can look and see that they just put up some fucking bullshit, the original WordPress theme or whatever. Then you contact those person and you say, okay, now I'm going to get a hold of them. And then, and then you can be more personal. Now, you're going to have an email that says what it says. But first of all, you can let them know and say, hey, man, I saw that you used because they have the theme sniffer thing, right? I saw that you use this theme. 
which is pretty much the basic WordPress theme, man. And I see that your website is named, um, I have one called iTracks, whatever. So that sounds kind of tacky. Maybe we can get you some kind of technical um, shit. I, I don't know. I just saw that you didn't have your website up. It's been a couple of weeks and I, you know, let's get, let's get that website up and running. Is it something that you've been meaning to do for your whole life? Is this a business that you want to get off the ground and you haven't done that yet? Listen, let me help you get that thing off the ground. I know this can be confusing to you, but boom, whatever, right? Maybe they put up a website that's still, you know, they put it up, but it's just not quite there and they have their phone number. Give them a call then, right? That is what growth hacking is, guys. It's it's no special like um, secret sauce to growth hacking. And I've been noticing that that word has been used a lot, you know, growth hacking, growth hacking, and, you know, join my group for this or buy my course so I can show you how to growth hack, right? And there is, it is, it is, it's like an official thing. You are hacking your growth because what the normal person does will just sit around and, you know, wait like day one through 365 and kind of do what normal business people do eight hours a day. And you can't do that if you want exponential fast spike growth, right? You do have to do things faster and a lot. Now, once you figure out how you can have, uh, how what what you can do and what fits your character. The next thing you need to do in place is put a system in place. Here's where a lot of people get twisted with growth growth hacking or anything you have to do. And I was talking to somebody today and telling them, you know, how I wake up in the morning and I work this amount of many hours and then I do this and I study this amount of time and then I do some more work and then I lay down and I wake back up. Right. Systems are what's really important, the things that it can be repeated every day and you can teach someone else, right? Once you see they work and you can scale it up, okay? So it's just like I just told you, you're gonna wait one week and you're gonna do this exercise and then you're gonna have your VA report this and then you're gonna talk to this many people and you're gonna do this many callbacks. You need to have a system. Once you have a system that you know you go one, two, three, four, five every day, right? You know that you're going to do that every day. You know to take those steps, right? Now, here's here's what I get, I'm going to get pretty much from everybody. And they're going to say, Sonny, what system do you use? That's another mistake that I'm seeing people make. There's no magic system, man. Go do what you just need to put together a system. Now, it's always nice to look at what somebody else does, right? But what if that doesn't fit your personal um, shit, right? So I can give you an example. There was one guy that's, that he calls himself a growth hacker, and he says, you know, well, you should go ahead and put a, um, what is the name of that place, man, that you can get funding for, a crowdfunding place? Um, what is it? Go fund me and the other one. Right. There's another one. I can't think of the name of this shit right now. But anyways, go get one of these fucking things here. Put your shit up there and crowdfund your course or your book. And, you know, I made one hundred thousand dollars or whatever. Right. But I'm not about to go do that shit, man. I don't even like it, man. I, I can't stand it. And now all it is now is a place for people to sell shit. So you go out there and you make a, a cool product and you tell people to come buy it and you're going to give it to them and they fund crowdfund the, whatever it is. Like there's some cool shit like drones, but a couple of people got ripped off. They, they didn't sell the drones. Um, there's some luggage that you could ride right now. That's doing really well. And those little electric bikes or whatever. And that's cool, but I'm not about to do that. Right. So that system wouldn't work for me. Right. So what you need to do, first of all, is understand, first of all, that growth hacking just means cold something for the most part, plus, uh, every day. Okay. A bunch of it which means hundreds of it, right? Or thousands of it per day. So a hundreds and thousands of cold emails and direct direct messages and Twitter uh, tweets and shit like that, whatever you decide to do, right? And it needs to be fast, right? And now you need to make it a system. You need to figure out what you're going to do every day, right? So what you're going to say to yourself is, okay, so... 
for four hours, not even four hours. So let's just say for 10 days, I'm going to send out, you know, 10,000 emails and I'm going to um, call X amount of people and I'm going to tweet this many people direct and I'm going to do this many direct messages on Insta. Right. And you just need to have a follow up process. And then after you, you know, after those 10 days that you're going to do all of this contact and then 10 days after that, you're going to do all of your follow ups. Then you're going to say to yourself, like, OK, so I know that I need to get the word out more about myself. How can I do that? Right. So sit down and talk. Right. And now this all involves cold something again. Right. So let me give you an example. Right. This is something I need to do in my own company. Okay, so I want more people to know about who I am, right? So what can I do? Cold plus what? Well, a podcast, collabs on YouTube. Okay. Um, shout out, uh, what do you call it? Um, influencer shout outs on um, Insta and Facebook. Okay. I can do that. And I could snap more because I got a lot of people um, on Snapchat. Okay. So I could snap more. So I know that I can do these things, right? So I need to set up a system for this. Now, for podcasts, I need to cold email. Okay. 100 people a day and ask them to have me as a guest on their podcast. Okay. And I need to do that every day, right? For seven days. Okay. Now, at the end of those seven days, on the the next 14 days, I need to make uh, guest appearances and make appointments and keep those appointments, right? Collabs on YouTube. What do I need to do? 100 people a day. I need to cold message those people and say, I'd like to do a collaboration with you. I like your channel. I think we do something similar. Let's collaborate and do something together, right? Shout outs on Instagram. I need to send out to 100 influencers a day. Are you guys seeing this now? It's just a fucking system of cold something, right? I know it sounds weird when I say that, right? And it snaps, I just need to fucking get out the house and go snap more, all right? But you see that, right? So now that's what I need to do. And now you can see how that could work, right? So now I'm contacting like 400 people a day for seven days, right? That's what, 2,800 fucking people? Is that, what, what is that? What is that? I'm doing my fucking math wrong. What's seven times seven? Well, no, four times seven, 28, right? So that's 28, 2,800 people in a fucking week. Is that right? Yeah. 2,800 people in a fucking week that I've contacted, man. Um, that's a lot of people, dude. 400 people a day, yeah. That's a lot of fucking people, dude. Are you? Do you think you could get some, you know, more growth out of that? Do you think you could, you know, more people would find out about your brand? Do you think more people would find out about your social media marketing agency if you did that? Just that little system right there that I just gave you, right? If you did, um, and then and then you know, with your social media marketing agencies, if you went out and you said I'm going to attend that many events and talk to that many people cold at the events, right? And you went and said, and now the one dude said he did the same thing, right? But if you did it in one place. Right. And I'm going to talk to this many people every day. You know what I mean? That's all it is. And that's what he said he did. The one dude in the in Tylo, the real skinny, funny looking dude that's supposed to be making a million dollars for uh, um, putting one photo on Instagram every day. It was fucking hilarious. But anyways, that's all it's, it is. Just cold, folks. That's all it is, man. So put yourself a system together. Figure out what it is you need to do and go do it. You don't have to go looking on somebody's blog or buy a fucking program to figure out how to fucking, you know, growth hack or whatever, unless you just want to get somebody else's system. So, um, that's about it for me today, folks, man. Um, I did want to talk about, I do have a new affiliate program up. If you want to push my products and you believe in what I'm doing here, um, I wasn't going to do it right, but get a hold of us in the group at funnel, funnelhackerpro.com. And I have an affiliate manager you can get with him, um, put in your application, obviously. And, um, He's going to teach you guys how to push the product. It's really easy. Um, you guys should be able to make a ton of money like that if you want to push my product, if you believe in it. If you don't, you know, I'm cool with that too. Um, I came out with a new affiliate um, for this program, an affiliate program for newbies that sells for $2. 
So <laughs> if you're interested, right, in getting a new and finding out about affiliate marketing, it's a two dollar program. There's 12 videos, like 20, 30 minutes each. You guys know what it's about. It's two fucking dollars. Right. So if you want to learn how to make money from home, if you want to learn how to start cracking the affiliate marketing code, I tell all about it and how to do it. Um, and you sh that should get you started. Obviously, it's not a, a how to be a super affiliate program for two dollars, but it is definitely um, better than going all over the Internet trying to find the information for free. All right, man. So that's it. Coffee break. <sighs> Ha, 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 ha.